Meet some mindsets or slime molds are a group of free-living amoeboid and sessile primitive organisms with complicated life cycles. Despite not belonging to the kingdom of fungi, they were historically regarded as molds due to the similarities in appearance and lifestyle. The name most closely associated with the group is derived from the Greek words mixa, mucus or slime, and mycets, referring to fungi. However, abundant molecular evidence confirms that they are amoebosomes and not fungi. Unlike true fungi, they live a predatory lifestyle, do not form mycorrhizae, and have no role in the decomposition of linocellulose. There are approximately 1,000 species of slime mold. The life cycle of slime molds consists of two distinct stages. During the amoeba flagellate stage, slime molds exist as typical single-celled organisms. These amoeboid cells feed on bacteria, grow and multiply by binary fission. This stage eventually progresses to the plasmodium stage, usually via the sexual fusion of two compatible amoeboflagellates. Morphologically, the plasmodium is a binding network with a viscous slimy consistency. Most of the life cycle is spent in this stage. Unlike true fungi, the plasmodium feeds on bacteria, fungal hyphae, and other microorganisms, ingesting them through phagocytosis. The spores of myxomycetes are microscopic and light and can be carried by the wind for considerable distances. Myxomycetes have been observed in most terrestrial habitats. They are common in forests, often developing on tree bark, decaying logs, stumps, dead leaves, and other organic litter. Similar to true molds, they are mostly associated with cool and moist habitats. Slime molds are usually nothing to worry about. However, if you suspect having a mold problem, call Moldbusters and we will take care of it. To become an expert in identifying mold in your home, and if you want to learn more about molds and other fungi, check our mold library on bossmold.com and subscribe to our channel.